everybody, welcome to the Agroforestry Academy channel. Today I'm going to show you how to plant pineapples. Last week I gave you a few tips on how to prepare the pineapple pup for planting. So now we're going to go to the actual planting. I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. One is with a prepared bed, as you can see here. And another one that we're going to see next is without a bed prepared in soils that have already been worked with organic matter and they're already well structured and we don't have to prepare bed. So for planting here in the bed, the first thing I'd, I'd like to show you is this. Um, if you remember in the last video, oop, there's a snail here. <laughs> in the last video I talked about the importance of not allowing dirt or anything to fall here right in the middle of the pineapple, right in the eye of the pineapple pup. Um, so when we plant it, we really have to be careful not to bury it too much. Otherwise dirt might fall inside of it and but also you don't want it to be too um, Too shallow because the pineapple needs to be firm on the ground So if you plant it too shallow it might you know fall off and if you plant it too deep it might It might get the, the eye dirty which might kill it so ideally What you want to do is look I, the eye is right here, so I'm going to bury it until here, you know, to allow the leaves to actually protect the eye of the pineapple. So I'm going to bury it until here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all these bottom leaves, which are already yellowish or kind of dying. If you have leaves that are broken, you can also take them out, but you don't want to take too many leaves out, you know, just enough so that you don't have any leaf completely buried you know you want to have the leaves buried up to a certain point but they should be coming out of the soil right so i'm gonna get it i'll protect it like this so that while when i plant it i don't have anything falling inside the eye so i'm protected like this and then you can do it with a hoe or with your hands i just like to do it with my hands the bed is already well prepared so it's deep you know i'm gonna you can see that i opened a little creek here in the middle and so I'm gonna put the plant in the small hole that I opened with my hand and I'm gonna bring soil all around it and you know I'm pressing it sideways so that you know the plant is firm and you really have to make sure that the pineapple pup is firm on the soil it cannot be loose so after planting you can you know pull it out a bit like this to see if it's really firm it should not come out you should not see the soil moving at all all right this means that it's well planted and you can go on to the next one I like to plant pineapples on a distance of 1.2 meters between rows and then 0.25 meters between plants that is 25 centimeters so let's finish up this this is just a small bed i prepared to show you i'm gonna finish planting it All right, so as you can see, I've planted it. You know, this was three, six, nine, eleven pups. And you can see the rest of the fuse is already planted. And we've covered the soil with some dry leaves. Here in the edges of the bed, we're still gonna plant beans, sorghum and cassava and probably pigeon pea. And we've got the prickly pear here in the middle as well with the pineapple. This is an important crop for us. And then also we're gonna finish uh, covering the corridors with organic matter. So basically we're gonna we're gonna plant the, the the edges of the bed and then cover the corridor to make sure everything is nice and covered, leaving only a small 
part of the bed uncovered so that I can show the seats. All right, so this is, uh, we had the pineapple planted on the bed. Now let's take a look on how to plant it in an older system. We're gonna go to a four year old system. The soil is already very well structured. I don't want to do anything of soil preparation because it's so well structured after four years of organic matter deposited on the soil. So let's check it out. All right, so now we're here in this other system. Um, as you can see, let me try to show it to you. We have lots of organic matter already on the soil. You now the soil is very, very well structured, as you can see. So it would really be a crime to, to mess too much with the soil with, with tools, you know. So really I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna, um, I'm gonna do the minimum, only enough so that I can put the pineapple in and make sure it's firm. I like to use this tool, which is a, we called it alavanca in Portuguese, which basically means lever. It's just a big iron piece with a, a blade here on one edge and then a, a pointed, it's like a pointed stick here on the other edge. This is used to break rocks and I use it to plant pineapples. <laughs> um, this is a really, really useful tool. And basically what I do is this. For the pineapple, I'm gonna do the same thing with the pop. I'm gonna take the leaves that are dead and what I'm gonna do here is just with just one hit, since this is, this is such a heavy tool, I open just a small hole and I stick the pineapple in as I pull the iron out. And then I just press with the iron a bit on the side and with my foot, carefully not to step on the pineapple, just step on the soil next to it and I just check if it's firm and it is firm. So this is a very, very efficient way to plant pineapples if you have already decently structured soil with lots of organic matter and you don't want to mess too much with the soil. Because really, it is a crime to, to use a rotary tiller on a well structured soil. I think this one is not so firm. It is, it's all right. You should always check if the pineapple is firm. If it's not, you need to replant it. This is very, very important. So there you go, I'll quickly, I'll quickly plant hundreds of pineapples this way. So there you go, we've got the planted pineapples. They're all well firm in the soil and they will take root and produce delicious pineapples. I planted rows here, it was a bit different. I planted them every 80 to 90 centimeters. I planted one row, as you can see. You can see that there are already some big trees here. The banana plants have been taken down recently, the big ones, because they were already uh, a bit old and they weren't producing so well. You can see all the organic matter here on the soil. This is really amazing material. Look at all the life that it creates underneath its wet trunk. And then now I'm, I'm gonna start choosing the bananas, plants that will take the place of their mothers which were taken down. And then obviously these ones will they will be taken out because I want them to be aligned and actually the line is more like here. So there are some that are, because banana plants walk, right? they move around. So you have to manage them so that they, they stay in line. 
pretty much. And then this system will be periodically pruned to allow enough sunlight for the pineapples. The, you know, there are places with more trees, which is more shaded. There are places with, which are a bit more open. We've got these four year old cashew trees planted by seed. They should start bearing fruit next year. And yeah, lots of things. We've got this avocado, which was radically pruned as well. It's starting to re-sprout. And, but now we're gonna manage everything to favor the pineapple, which is one of our most important crops here. So I'm definitely gonna prune everything that needs to be pruned to allow for a healthy pineapple field. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave us a f your feedback, share it with your friends if you think it might be useful to anybody. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel and to our newsletter, you can receive, uh, there's a link to the newsletter underneath this video. And I'll catch you in the next week. Stay tuned and thank you for watching. And remember, keep it pruned.